Hello STEM students, how are you? Hope you're doing fine. Today I will be discussing about adding three vectors using component method. I will be giving you two example problems and one practice exercise. Example problem number one. Example number one. Three players on a reality TV shows are brought to the center of a large flat field. Each is given a meter stick, a compass, a calculator, a shovel, and the following three displacements. 72.4 meter, 32 degree east of north, 57.3 meters, 36 degree south of west, 17.8 meters straight south. To be able to solve this kind of problem, First, you have to illustrate the vector diagram. Then, you have to identify all the given. Vector A is equal to 72.4 meter, 32 degree east of north. Vector B is equal to 57.3 meter, 36 degree south of west. And vector C is equal to 17.8 meter straight south. The unknown are the R and the Z. Wait, let's recall this first from our previous discussion. To solve this problem using component method, let us fill in this table. First, determine the angle between x-axis and the given vector. Vector A has a distance or magnitude equal to 72.4. The angle is 90 minus 32 that is equal to 58. Vector B is in quadrant 2 has an angle of 180 plus 36, that is equal to 216. Vector C is along negative y-axis. It has an angle equal to 270. Lastly, get the sum of all x components, that is equal to negative 7.99 meters, and the sum of all y components, that is equal to 9.92 meters. The magnitude of the resultant vector is equal to the square root of the sum of the rx squared and the ry squared. Theta is equal to r times ry over rx which is equal to 129 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis counterclockwise direction. Example number 2 R has a magnitude of 251 kilometers and is directed 22.3 degrees west of north. Now, get your physics notebook and try answering this problem. Did you get the same answer? Resultant vector is equal to 68 kilometers and 86 degrees south of east. For your assignment, do this collaborative activity with your bookmates. Illustrate the vector diagram and show your complete solution using the component method. Thank you!